All right, we've got one man sitting on the center seat here and a little tiny bit of weight as if he was carrying a set of oars and maybe a tiny bucket or something with him. And that's the attitude that we wanted the boat to sit when we mocked the water line on it. All right, I'm going to reach around the stern end here with the same weight in the same spot and make a little mark just above the water, dead center on the transom here. Now we're going to use those two marks one at the bow end and one at the stern end to generate a nice water line all the way around the boat. Now we're going to take the boat out of the water. We're going to set it up back up upside down and put batter boards across the stern and across the bow and then use a string to generate that water line all the way around. We loaded it up the way we wanted to and I have made a mark on the stern end right here with a pencil where it floated in the water and I've made an identical mark up forward. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use a batter board system in order to strike the water line on this boat. Basically requires that I put a nice straight edge piece of material across the transom here, uh, maybe just a little bit higher than this mark. I get about three-eighths of an inch above the mark so that uh, she'd show a little bit of water line loaded like that. And then what I'm going to do is just measure it on both sides. This is 12 and a quarter inches, and I've got 12 and a quarter inches over here. So... Now this line is parallel to the transom, and that's as parallel or as level as we can get it. The boat is not sitting here level. This isn't level. There's nothing level here. It doesn't matter. I can strike a nice, clean water line on it. I've got the two batter boards erected, one on each end at the bow end and the stern end, and they're parallel to each other, and at the proper height, that's the height we want the water line. Now we've got a string stretched across between the two batter boards. We've stretched it so that it's very, very close to the hull, but it's not touching the hull. If it was touching the hull and you tightened it up, it would try to roll up the hull like that, no matter if you loosened it, it would roll back down again. So it needs to be very close to the hull, but not quite touching it. And then I have to get my head down at the same height as the two batter boards so that I can swing left and right like this and see whether or not I've got my head at the right height and then I'm going to make a little mark right here. All right, we've marked out the very forward section of the water line now up in this area, but as we work our way further back, the string is too far away from the boat, so I'm going to require that we move the string along to the right up forward and in back aft. Keep coming in, Rick. Keep coming in. All right, right there. Now tighten it up right there. Okay, so now I'm going to hold my head again at the same height as the batter board, and then I'm going to make a little mark right here. Okay, I'm just doing my best to get the tape to stretch through the marks I've made here. I see some of the marks could be up and down just a little bit, but it won't be by much. And with the tape, you can kind of average through them very easily. And right, I'm just holding a little straight edge up against the transom now from the marks on the starboard side to the marks on the port side. And I'm just going to make a few small little marks across that I can follow across with the tape. I could put a pencil line all the way across, but there's really no need to. All right, you've seen the method that we use to mark the water line out here. We've started out with just by putting a mark at the bow end and the stern end in the water to see which way we wanted it to float. And then we've set up batter boards and used a string and made marks on the hull that we just simply taped in between. And you can see how nice it came out. That's the preferred method that the shipwrights would have used over the years on just about any size hull. So we're very pleased with it. So now we're going to put a little bottom paint below the tape here and just to make it look a little nicer for our launching party. Grant, get out. <laughs>